This is a scandal that has gripped South Korea since 2016, and the nation watched the climax live on television. But Park and Hae boycotted the trial and wasn't in court to learn her fate. The court sentences the defendant Park and Hae to 24 years in prison and fines her 16.8 million U.S. dollars. Park was found guilty of 16 of the 18 charges, including abuse of power, coercion and bribery, and said to have taken millions of dollars from the country's biggest conglomerates in exchange for favors. The corruption scandal sparked months of protests in central Seoul, culminating in Park's impeachment. Park was also found guilty of leaking sensitive information to her longtime friend Che Sun Shil. As president, Park allowed Che to dictate policy even though she had no official government role. The pair was found to have conspired to extort millions of dollars from major companies, including Samsung. In February, Che was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Samsung's heir and group leader J.Y. Lee was tried separately and convicted of bribing Park through payments to foundations Che controlled. He was sentenced in August to five years in prison, then released on appeal. Some of these protesters pointed to that ruling, asking if Lee was released, why was Park found guilty? There's been an angry reaction from outside the court from these supporters of Park Geun-hye. They're conservatives who dislike the current liberal president Moon Jae-in, and they're demanding Park's release. They represent a generation nostalgic for the time when Park's father, Park Chung-hee, was president. He was a military general who came to power in a coup and was eventually killed by an aide, a traumatizing event for a young Park geun We will keep fighting until there is a new government in power. Moon Jae-in will not let her out. We need to fight the injustice. But the number of Park supporters paled in comparison to the hundreds of thousands who regularly turned out for the candlelight protests. President Moon Jae-in came to office on a liberal agenda, promising to stamp out corruption. In a statement, his spokesman said, they say history not remembered repeats itself. We will not forget today. Kathy Novak, Al Jazeera, Seoul.